a 30-year-old man presented with fever and septic shock. He is in renal failure and there is evidence of disseminated intravascular coagulation. There are confluent purpuric spots in his legs with evidence of skin necrosis. The patient is a dog handler. He had a history of splenectomy following a road traffic accident. He is on penicillin prophylaxis and is up to date with his vaccination. Which antibiotic would you start this patient on? Doxycycline. Cotramoxazole. Coamoxiclav. Clarithromycin. Ciproflaxacin. The answer is coamoxiclav. The organism in question is Capnocytophaga. What are the keywords that might suggest this bacteria? 1. Confluent purpuric spots with skin necrosis, suggesting purpura fulminans in this setting. 2. Risk factors, exposure to dog and history of splenectomy. Capnocytophaga is slow-growing gram-negative bacteria. There are more than nine species of Capnocytophaga, which can be divided into two groups, residents of human mouth flora and residents of mouth flora of animals like dogs and cats. Species of Capnocytophaga found in the human oral cavity are C. gingivalis, C. granulosa, C. hemolytica, C. leadbettery, C. ochrysia and C. sputigena. Teeth with higher dental plaque mass may have a higher level of capnocytophaga. It is also more common in children and patients with malignancy. Species of capnocytophaga found in dogs and cats' mouths are C. canamorsus and C. synodegmi. Capnocytophaga canamorsus is responsible for most human infections. The risk factors for capnocytophaga infection are dog bite or cat scratch, asplenia heavy alcohol use and, immunocompromised state, including chemotherapy, use of biologics and HIV. Other reported risk factors are cirrhosis and diabetes. The most severe capnocytophaga infection is septic shock. Many of these patients would have a history of dog bites, cat scratches or even dog licking a wound. However, these may not always be present. The patient may present with fever, acute renal impairment, disseminated intravascular coagulation and other signs or symptoms of septic shock. Patients may have purpura fulminans due to occlusion of small and medium-sized blood vessels. There could be evidence of skin necrosis and gangrene. Septic shock is most common on Capnocytophaga canamorsis infection, but other species have also been reported to cause such disease. Septic shock due to capnocytophaga can have a mortality of up to 30% even after treatment. Other diseases reported in the literature are meningitis, intracranial abscess, endothelmitis, and keratitis, chest infection, mediastinitis, and empyema, endocarditis, and pericarditis, peritonitis, intraabdominal abscess, chorioamnionitis, neonatal sepsis, bacteremia and osteomyelitis. Capnocytophaga has a significant ability to evade the immune system, at least at the early stages of infection. It may not interact with the toll-like receptor 4, which is an essential part of our innate immune system. It also resists complement-mediated killing, phagocytosis and prevents the development of inflammatory response. Laboratory Identification Capnocytophaga is a slow-growing organism and may take days to grow on culture media. It is a facultative anaerobe and capnophilic. It can grow on blood and chocolate agar but may not grow on McConkie agar. On gram stain, they appear thin, long, fusiform gram-negative rod but on the older culture, it may appear pleomorphic. It is oxidase and catalase positive, but urease and indole negative. Identification can be confirmed using multi torf or 16S RNA sequencing. Capnocytophaga species produces various types of beta lactamases, TEM17, CSP1, CFXA, etc., conferring resistance to penicillin, cephalosporins, astrianam, and monobactams. Beta lactamus production is rare in Capnocytophaga canamorsis, which is responsible for most serious infections. Betalactam-betalactam's combinations, 
for example, piperacillin tazobactam or comoxiclav, and carbapenems are considered appropriate choices of antibiotics. The following table shows various antibiotics and reported susceptibilities. Note, amongst the non-betalactam antibiotics, clindamycin, linezolid, doxycycline and chloramphenicol are considered to be active against this bacteria. Colistin polymyxin, fusidic acid, phosphomycin, and trimethoprim is not active against Capnocytophaga. Thank you for listening.